Okay, this video explains how to set up a Bantam out of the box. The first thing you want to do is ensure there's no program, so you want to clear all the memory. So you press uh, back and forth, you want to go to Program, System Setup, Raise up to Set Defaults, Select, Program, Raise or Lower to say Yes, Select, this will clear all the memory. You'll start from scratch. Press the reset button. You have to be in programs, in program mode to actually create a program. The status is for looking at the status of the relays and whatnot, and it's a read-only aspect. So we go to program. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a group of four relays, group one. So we're going to program, relays, groups. You can see the second line is for selecting the relays within group one. We'll set up the first four relays. One, two, three, four. You have to save it. It goes from italics to normal. The default is schedule on off. You can edit schedules. That's on the system settings. But for now we've had we've set group one four relays. No switches operate yet because we haven't selected a switch to operate that group. So we're going to exit out, back to switches, program, you can press 2 for switches, local, because it's a local switch, it's not a digital switch. Out of the box, it sets up default, first position is here, eighth position is here, so we're switch 1, it's to our alternate. In order to select the group, you have to say edit relay list. Press select, groups, group 1 is defaulted no. We want group 1 to be affected by this switch 1. So we raise it to yes, save it, exit out. And now the switches will operate group 1. To set up a sensor to operate those as well. You'll go to program, photo control. Go to number three. Default out of the box is the CES indoor. This happens to be an outdoor, so we can raise or lower until it says outdoor one to ten. Save it. You want to edit thresholds. You can get in and set the limits, but in order to make this sensor one activate group one relays, we have to go down and edit relay list. So we'll arrow down, edit relay list, groups, group one, just like switches, save. Now both the switch and the sensor will operate group one. I will get a flashlight so that I can allow the sensor to activate. An, or an ordinary flashlight will work. In order for quick response though, however, you have to go by pressing reset, status, photo control, and you have to remove the delay. So you have to come down here and remove the delay so that there's no delay time for like clouds and and uh, obstructions that can cause quick responses in the sensor. Typically, you would want this to be a yes, but for a quick response, we're going to go no, because we want to see the sensor activate those relays. The relays will go off when there's lots of light, and as the signal decays, they will come back on when it goes down below the threshold. To see what that threshold is, you can look at it with status, photo control, and you'll be able to see the foot candles. Shining a light, foot candle goes up right away. It'll decay back down. The defaults for this are like 10 foot candles when it switches off. So it's nighttime now. They've turned on. Switch control also operates this because we set up both the photo control and the switch to operate. So we can create a new event by changing it this way. 
In order now for the sensor to turn the lights back on, we have to create a new on event. Typically, you would have your outdoor lights controlled by a photo control and no switch. But in this particular case, I wanted to demonstrate the fact that you could have a switch operate a group of four relays or whatever relays you select for that group and the sensor. So that's pretty much how to program a Banton to do manual switch control and photo control.